We believe, we truly believe that TikTok is indeed. Hey you guys, welcome back to our channel. It's hashtag Roxy and we are back with another video. So, today you guys, we wanted to talk about something that has happened to us. Um, a lot of you guys have asked us on Instagram, primarily on Instagram, <clears throat> what happened to our TikTok account. Now, if you are here from TikTok and you like found us through TikTok and you're here, you know that we had like 370 plus thousand followers. We worked so hard to get there Real hard. on our content. We really did on our content. Some days, I mean, we would just record five TikToks in a day and just made sure that we, you know, had a video for you guys every single day, things of that nature. Um, we uploaded a particular post and video and this video it had been it was like a trending thing that was going on where um, the guy was laying there and the girl came behind and like put her hand like poked him basically in the booty now Lee had on pants obviously no one was naked in this video guys no one was naked in this video nothing of the sort nothing inappropriate honestly there have been worse videos that we've oh, seen tremendously of that um challenge so we posted that video um i went to go check to see or no lee went to go check to see how it was doing later on that evening and he's like i can't find your tiktok like i can't find our tiktok what happened the whole account the whole account guys deleted i was falling asleep on the couch and i literally jumped out of my sleep this was like 1 30 2 30 in the yeah, literally i jumped out of my sleep because you have to think like this is another stream of income for us you know we have youtube we have instagram and like companies that reach out to us and stuff like that that's how we, we you know we make extra money um, TikTok was another source of income for us. So I woke up in a panic. So I'm like, what? So I tried to log in and it said that your account has been um, permanently banned due to violation, got, violating the guidelines basically. Now I went on to do a lot of research on YouTube to find out like, what is the process of basically getting the account back? Like how do we go about getting our account back who do we message like what the heck do we do at this point and there have been some people who said that their account got deleted for no reason as well like they us. said they you know violated guidelines and all they did was they kept basically harassing tiktok until they gave them their account back well i did the very same thing and i got two responses i did get one because we ended up creating a new tiktok and I went and reached out to them via the new TikTok. Um, I went ahead and messaged them from like the feedback, you know, like a reporter problem. And um, I went ahead and sent like a whole bunch of messages and they didn't get back to me for like two, three weeks. The other people got back in like six days. It was like feedback at TikTok.com is who you would email if this ever happens to you. Um, and they said that basically their the account is going to remain permanently disabled like that was it and i still kept emailing them because i just think that it's really interesting that you see a lot of like caucasian women on tiktok who post worse things and i mean they're showing bare booty butt naked like it's it's horrible Bad. like the things we see on tiktok is ridiculous there was even one tiktok that um rnm sent us and the guy, the girl was talking in the beginning and then the guy's butt was bare. No underwear, bare booty, okay? And this video was still up. And we're talking girls shaking their ass <coughs> saying, oh, come follow me on OnlyFans, OnlyFans this, hashtag OnlyFans, all this stuff. They were fine. The video was still up, their account was still up. Yeah, it was just baffling to me. Like, I, mm. we were so upset. Like, I'm still kind mm. of like upset about it because our new TikTok isn't growing as fast as we would like it to grow. And I don't know if that's just how it starts off, but I feel like some people, they get on TikTok, they post one video and get millions of followers. Which is a possibility, but we have to keep in mind, one, we started TikTok right before the pandemic which is why we had so much because the pandemic really brought a lot of more people, people to, to TikTok. TikTok. Mm -hmm. 
yeah so a lot of people were spending time on tiktok and now i guess being that we're still in a pandemic um people are on tiktok people are still on tiktok but it's almost True. as if they're not pushing out our content it's like it's like we're invisible like we, we try to do like trending stuff and stuff like that and it'll get like a couple of thousand maybe here and there and it's just like man you know and it's just it just sucks because we worked so hard like we said um we're gonna continue posting on there and trying to build our account but all in all we believe we truly believe that tiktok is indeed racist, racist. like racist. they are they're definitely and i've emailed them saying that even i'm like why didn't you take down this person and this person and this person like i've sent them 10 links of different people who violated clearly violated guidelines clear as day that they violated guidelines and i'm like why is it that you're not reinstating our account and then for people who have gotten their account taken away if they were caucasian you'd give it back but with us you don't want to give us our account back so it wasn't even bad things like it's just crazy and then you know what's crazy about that is like we tried to post some of our current our old tiktoks on here one of them that was fine on there it was like i was laying down and hubby was trying not to smack my butt. I think it, we put it on YouTube too. We probably put it on the story. Yeah. Um, it was the song that was playing was I'm Only Human by Christina Perry, I believe. I can do and, it. And um, we posted that on our t <clears throat> new TikTok. It got taken down. And they said that we violated guidelines. Again. I had on black tights and a crop top on. Guys, no one was naked. Like it I wasn't don't understand. Close. Literally nothing. nothing. Like I was like, oh, let me go check to see how the post is doing. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? I was so pissed. Like I was so over it. I'm like, yo, this almost makes me want to not even create content on here. It's like when we do create content on there or find stuff on there, it's to post on our Instagram Reels account. So but there's that. At the same time, we don't we don't fall down and not get back up true very true so we're still gonna post on there like i said like we're still posting on there and stuff and hoping that we can grow our account once again um just i guess staying consistent is key to everything you know um it just it just feels like we're invisible though but if you are watching this video um definitely check out our new tiktok it's roxley official the same name as our instagram account We'll be leaving it in the description box below as well so you guys can see that. Um, but yeah, that's what we really wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about and tell you guys exactly what happened. Um, I'm going to ins inserted or insert a clip of the video um, that we had uploaded just so you guys can see like what the heck. It wasn't that bad. It really wasn't. Mm, excuse me. You're excused. I'm tired. Me too. <laughs> Um, so yeah guys, we really hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have any type of feedback for us, um, if you know or, or your account has ever gotten banned before from TikTok or anything like that, and you, you can, if there, anything you can do to help, let us know in the comment section below. We really appreciate you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hashtag Roxley. We'll see you guys in our next video.